Which guy will I be this one? DBC don't carry their own come again. No. Everything, oh, <laughs> the sure like showcase <laughs> it's not clear. <laughs> BBC, don't sure open. Say, Peter, I'll be with Rebar State. Not be me, not be me on BBC. Oh, I'll like it. Oh, see me like a book. He's not you, he's not you. If not me, he is right. If not me, he this right. A bakara must to swallow me. Fish must to hit me. Ah, um, ah. Um. <laughs> if you like the fish, watch your people now. I beg I don't want to talk too much. No, we me talk about no BBC. Oh. <laughs> if not the first time when you did watch my video, hurry follow this Facebook page. Don't forget like and comment. Make Facebook recommend them for others. I beg hurry subscribe to my YouTube channel. A pro cooking <laughs> and put on your notification. BBC don't clear every year. If you hear one light a light, the February 25 presidential election in River State. The BBC has also indicted INEC in a separate investigative report. The report suggests that there was obvious manipulations in at least two local government areas of River State, Obibo and Obiakbo, with INEC unable to provide the staff who announced the result in Obibo. And according to them, Peter Obi received more votes in River State, but Bola Tinubu was declared winner. And then here are the number of votes for each candidate. So they are looking at Obi and Tinubu, basically, who they say they are the leading candidates in that state. So while at the polling unit, the Obi is the one in orange. At the polling unit, he got over 200,000 votes, but Tinubu got around 100,000 votes. Um, I want to say Naira, a hundred thousand vote. But when it got to the state capital, the results were reversed, and Obi suddenly had barely above one hundred and fifty thousand votes, while Tinubu got two hundred thousand and above vote. And here is their breakdown. In Obi local government, in the next slide, for example, Obi got about 20,000 votes, while Tinubu got 5,000 votes, less than 5,000 actually. But while it was announced in the state capital in Port Harcourt, Obi got about 11,000 votes, while Tinubu then had above 15,000 votes. So BBC is saying that um, Tinubu's vote increased six votes, that's um, six times in Obibo, while Obi's vote was halved. And then in the other local government, which is their focus, their second focus, which is Obi Akbar, that of um, the state executive, Nyesom Wike, while at the polling units, the result of Obi were was around 70,000 and above, while that of Tinubu was less than 20,000. But when it got to Portacot again at the state capital, Obi suddenly had less than 20,000. In fact, very, very low, like about 5,000 votes, while Tinubu uh, marched 80,000 votes. They said they have been looking for the man who made the announcement in Obibu no local government, whose name is Dixon Ariaga, who says he works at the Federal College of Education in the state. So they went to the school to look for him, and then the deputy provost, Moses Ekba, told the BBC from our records, both from our payroll and from our human resources, there is no such a name in our system, and we don't know such a person. And then it went further to the INEC regional office there. But Johnson, who is a spokesman, said in Port Harcourt that due to a gross shortage of time and personnel, they had needed to take on some people without verifying their identity document. Referring to Dr. Ariaga, he said if he had presented himself as a lecturer from the college in Omoku and it's otherwise, then the man is definitely dishonest. And then they came to Abu here and 
They said they approached INEX headquarters for a response to our findings and discrepancies in the result in River State. We were told that they were unable to comment due to ongoing legal challenges. So apparently the man who made the announcement um, announced Tinubu the winner in the two local government, Obigbo precisely, is nowhere to be found and is untraceable by INEC who who he claims to be their staff. So people are asking the governor where he got um, the man who made the announcement. So let's have some reactions to this now. From Joy is, Wicke tried hard and rigged the election in River State, but he didn't try hard enough to cover his tract. The finding by Premium Times newspaper at Now BBC is alarming. Did he do it intentionally to disgrace Tinubu or he is just not smart enough? Also reacting to that is Comrade Gospel tweeting at Comrade GOS and he says, The world is now speaking up. Hmm, this is a disgrace to Nigeria and Buhari's administration. Would they say that BBC was also paid? And more reactions from Sherun Johnson. It says, So they use reverse results to say, the whole stuff has anormalities. Hmm. But Royal Lore is saying that um, can this be done in all the states? This happened all over the country. This is the reason there was dead silence at the announcement of INEC. Peter Obi was robbed. Labour Party was robbed. Most painful of all is that Nigerians were robbed. INEC Nigeria, shame on you. And also reacting to that is everything Peter Obi and he says, eyes on the judiciary now waiting I get to say be that.